Good morning, good morning, good morning. I hope you're all having a fantastic day. A happy holidays and Merry Christmas to everybody. We're going to go ahead and do a video on Farming Tales. Uh, they released a, a holiday patch, which is kind of neat because on your farm now, it is covered in snow, which is perfect for this time of year. And they've also decorated a Christmas tree with some presents, but I want to open them. They won't let me open them. <laughs> uh, the house is also decorated. There's a there's a tree upstairs, which we'll quick run up to. Frosty the Snowman's here, so they're very festive. Um, on a side note, it's actually super cool that we're to the point right now uh, with Wax Games where we can do holiday patches like this, where we can go ahead and... Uh, cool. Uh, we can go ahead and... Uh, not just focus on the development of the game, but we can add, add some fun things that just makes it exciting, makes it a little bit different to go to your farm, things like that. Last year, we were so focused on um, just getting things developed and the games that were available weren't really doing anything exciting. Um, the big games last year was obviously Farmer's World, who did nothing ever to, to update the game, uh, at least nothing exciting. Um, so it's really neat to see that they're putting out patches. So today's video is going to kind of give you a highlight of what's what they did release and what they are releasing. There's a big patch that's coming here on Wednesday that's going to really change the economy again for Farming Tales, really make it a little more, uh, I guess you could say, a little more long-term focused. Um, so that's neat to see. Um, so this is, uh, like I said, this is the... the the new uh, skin for the winter skin for um, the, the, your farm. Um, you can see the animals and everything. It's everything's covered in snow. Um, what we're going to do is go, we're now going to run over to New Waxchester, which is not covered in snow, but it, you, they do have flurries. I think it just would have been way too much to redo that entire skin. Um, you can see there's now a truck here um, for loading your produce to take it to New Waxchester. The gate is officially open, and there's this, there's a bus here that's going to take you there. Um, the bus isn't actually working yet, so you can actually just go in here and jump in. I'm going to go solo um, because I want to ride the tractor around into the, the heart of New Waxchester. It makes it just a little bit quicker. Uh, but I want to show you a few other things that, that have been updated. You can see slightly. It's a little hard to see, but you see there are there are flurries around. So it's it's at the brink of snowing right now. I'm wondering if they'll update this skin to show snow uh, and I keep saying skin just the layout the overall layout of the environment um, if you haven't realized yet if you go into the solo version uh, you can take a, a, a tractor around uh, it makes things it makes travel a little bit quicker throughout New Axchester it is a little bit touchy um, so be aware of that uh, and there's up here I always glitch out or lag out at one spot so you'll see me probably crash here coming up right now there we go. You see it crashes. <laughs> um, every That's the one spot that I always crash at just because it does lag out a little bit. Um, but let's take the rest on foot. We're going to go and show you a few of the new buildings that did open up where you can go ahead and craft now. Um, it is the, the old mill. I'm sorry. Is it the old mill? We'll check it. It's up here on the right. Uh, is a new building that you can now uh, refine materials at. Um, I refine hemp here. Yeah, it's the oil mill. I it's an old mill. It's an oil mill. Uh, if you go here, you have a couple new options. There's one blank spot for something that's coming up. If you have sunflowers, you can go ahead and do that. And also your hemp. Uh, you can now produce CBD oil, which sells pretty well uh, for a little bit more cess than, than just the hemp oil. The other two buildings that are now open, one is was open probably about a week and a half ago. Uh, the other was just opened recently. We got to run all the way over here. It's not this carpenter. It's the carpenter over here in this little cluster uh, where it has the carpenter, the blacksmith, and, and all that together is now available for you to go ahead and produce, especially if you're a lumber. If you have a lumber uh, jack, um, you can go ahead and produce. And I think I just ran to the wrong spot. Where are you? I think I may have taken a wrong turn. So we will go ahead and do the magic of editing and jump to it. All right, here we go. I took a right when I should have took a left. I'm talking about this cluster over here. It's got a little fountain with it. This carpenter now is available. You can go ahead and jump in here and crap, refine some additional items. Mostly uses lumber, everything from wood boards. And just a hint, these wood boards are going to be used over at the blacksmith. So it's kind of neat to see the, the stacking or the leveling of the, the refined goods 
Um, you got toys that you can go ahead and make. And then you have, once we get iron, iron is not in the game yet, but I'm assuming there is a uh, s someone coming that will be able to mine uh, the iron. I'm assuming that will come here shortly uh, for the dishes. I made some wood boards, and then if you take the wood boards over here uh, to the blacksmith is now available, uh, you can go ahead and craft uh, a couple different things. You can craft tools. I'm assuming these are going to be used in the future also. Uh, but a wagon, I'm curious how much the wagon's going to go for. I didn't look in the light paper to see if it's been updated, but I am saving up some wooden boards to go ahead and grab one of those. I'm assuming it, it, it's going to sell for, for quite a bit cessed. So those are the new buildings that are available. There is a patch that's coming in here on Wednesday that's going to add some additional items. Um, mostly, and something that we've been waiting on, is the crate system. Uh, the crate system allows you to batch products and then sell them on the secondary market. It looks like the crates are going to cost uh, lumber in order to create those the crates. Uh, which which hopefully everybody has a lumber mill if, if uh, not a lumber mill a lumberjack if you don't have one It might be a good time to sneak out and grab one before the price jumps up once people realize that they're gonna need that that lumber in order to go ahead and create the system again speculation uh, not financial advice um, But there's a chance that it could jump up there once people realize that we're gonna need the, all the lumber for some of the items down the road uh, They've always been saying it's a legendary item. So there should be no surprise there for that one but essentially what they're saying in this is that it's going to drastically decrease the cest output. So it sounds like they're going to make some adjustments to how much cest you earn when you go ahead and uh, sell your items, especially the ones straight from your farm, the ones that you don't refine. Um, I can see them decreasing. I don't know specifically what they're going to do, but it sounds like they're going to decrease that output. And then the refined goods, the stuff that we just saw in New Wax Chester, to go to the, each of the buildings and refine those are probably going to have more value than they do now. There's going to be more of a separation between the, the raw goods and the refined goods, um, which makes sense. Uh, and I think that's what they're, they're trying to do. Uh, they say it's going to reduce the, the botters. I think it's going to, it's going to encourage more people to go ahead and refine goods because most people are still selling the raw materials just because there's not that big of a difference with the, 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 the reward uh, for selling your goods. So that's going to be a big change. I'm curious to see all the details. I'll probably do a small video on that once it's released to show you how to go ahead and do the crates, uh, put them on, go ahead and export them out into NFTs, um, and also just the the price differences, uh, or the assessed output differences of each of the items. In addition to that, they did go ahead and do their, their holiday, their Christmas event, which is uh, Christmas animals. Um, they have nice little Christmas hats on them, so it's a kind of neat feature. They did this last year also. Last year, you could not get a bonus with them. Uh, this year, you actually get a 10% bonus, uh, which is kind of nice uh, speed bonus, and it's going to be retroactive once it's in there. Uh, so go ahead and grab one of your holiday. I'm going to go ahead and get at least one of them. I think I need a hen, so I might grab a holiday hen, even though the hat's so tiny. I really like the the holiday cow and the holiday pig. I think those are the best, but I don't have any space left in my stables. Uh, so it's it doesn't really make sense for me to go ahead and, and do that. I do have one spot for a hen, so I'll probably go ahead and grab that one. Uh, so go ahead and check them out. This is a limited time. Um, they do close this out at some point. They have not specified. Actually, they did here. It ends after 27 days. So you do have time. You have a little less than a month. Uh, but once they're not available, they once that that ends, they won't be available again until next holiday season. Potentially, they may change things up and not have it available. Who knows? Um, next on the list, I did mention the old mill, uh, oil mill. I keep calling it old mill. The oil mill and the carpenter is now available. I showed you where those are located in game. Please keep in mind that there are two of every buildings. And only one of these buildings is available. And I showed you the other carpenter that was not open yet. It will be open down the road. And then last but not least, they just give us a heads up that uh, the new token, the new new access token is going to be available or tradable uh, coming at some point. I think it's the Wednesday release that we had talked about. Uh, so Wednesday, the 21st, there's going to be a big update. Make sure you're ready for it. Save your lumber. I, I mistakenly crafted my lumber into the wood boards. Uh, but I'll get some more lumber uh, prior to that that update, uh, so we can actually go ahead and sell our items uh, on the secondary market, which is going to be a nice nice thing. It's going to burn through a lot more 
items, uh, refinable, the new ecosystem with the, the assessed output. I'm curious to see what that's all going to be about. Um, so lots of cool things still coming. I love how they're continuing to develop, continuing to listen to the audience uh, and the players just to see what they think is best uh, and and start continuing to adjust. And again, I love the holiday uh, themes that they have going on here, the little snowflakes that are dropping as you're running around New Waxchester. And if you jump over here uh, to the, the farm, um, in, in case you didn't know, if you hit F5, it refreshes and takes you back to... Uh, the menu so it's a lot easier instead of running that full distance back to the entrance of your farm just hit it have five and select on that and we're back here at the farm and you can see all the cool decorations for Christmas um, great work for the farm and tail folks really appreciate all the work that you guys put in there uh, again check it out if you haven't had a chance to jump in there uh, and I will talk to you all later have a great day everybody